Well, we're getting ready to seal this fender. We have the 285-38 and the 285-49. I like to mix them both together and get like a medium gray because one's black and one's white. And the mixing ratio is two to one to 30% reducer. So I'll go in, seal it, so I have my consistency and covers any of the bare metal edges. And I'm gonna use my Aki spray gun here with a 1-4 tip. And we'll tack off the fender and let's get her sealed. I used the Aki spray gun throughout this whole process. When I sealed the fender, I went and used a 1-4 tip. When I based it, I used a 1-3 tip. When I spray, you know, depending on solids or metallics, you can really see it lay out, whether it's water or, or not. You, you really want to watch your pattern, how it hits the panel. And, you know, with metallics, you, you really worry about modeling. You want to make sure that it's reduced enough and that you can see that you don't have modeling. Modeling is where the metallic lays funny on it. Your eye will tell you if it doesn't look consistent. It's easy for me to say it, but honestly, it's one of those things you got to just do and learn to see how it lays. I think a lot of people feel that the paint has to be super flat and super slick. It actually, the clear will bring it out. It can look even a little uh, rough sometimes as far as the base coat, but the clear will take care of that. Once we got it based, and the base was hard, we went to the clear. I actually started with a 1.4. I wanted it heavier, and I actually went to a 2.0 tip, but I probably should have used a 1.8 tip. For collision repair, we typically put on about three coats of clear and start with about 1,500 grit sandpaper, work our way up to 5,000. You can do 1,000 if you really want to make it smooth, but typically new cars are not super slick. They have orange peel, so when we do collision work, we try to match the orange peel that's on the car. We've used a lot over the years. People may have brought us other products in to spray their car that a friend started and we've helped them out but we've been glazer since we started our collision we didn't move in to that we started with that because of their color match system they have the look is by far the best and because we're familiar with it but the results speak for themselves okay now that we got the fender out of the booth i actually put a bake on it so we could get to buffing this right away um, I only put three layers of clear on here, so I'm not going to get real crazy sanding it. So I'm going to start out with like a thousand grit, but kind of go light. And we'll go to 1500, 2000, then we'll try Zach in 3000, and try Zach in 5000. Again, using tape, I'll tape up my edges so I don't go through. You don't want to, um, you don't want to sand through these edges because paint doesn't like to sit on a, a curved surface as well. So. We'll tape that off so we don't sand through. And I like to start with a pretty firm block. I like to cut like a piece of plexiglass so we can block the clear just like we would um, your black and your primer or anything else. You want to just use a really stiff block. So we'll start with that and then we'll move on to a soft block after that.